So in the UK we have a unique system in the world called the National Health Service, NHS, which we're all very proud of. So the point of this service is that it's free at the point of need and will remain so. So it's a national health service covering the whole country and it's really important that people are trained to work effectively within this service. So within uh, the training scheme in the UK, so what happens is that everybody does a first degree in medicine. Uh, following that, there's then two years of training in what we call the foundation program. So you go into foundation year one, then foundation year two. Now in this time, you're actually working as a junior doctor within the NHS. So you are working, you're getting paid a salary, but you're also still training as well. And it's a really important two years of further training there, the foundation program. After the end of Foundation Year 1, at the moment, you then get full registration with the General Medical Council as a medical practitioner. You then complete Foundation Year 2 and then you are considered to be fully trained at that point. You can then decide to go on to specialise in a particular branch of medicine. The UK has a long tradition of attracting students from across the world and educating doctors who go all over the world to practice and they're recognized for their practical clinical skills, their intellectual rigor and their personal qualities such as professionalism and compassion. The UK is very engaged with the international community and international students bring experiences from many different countries that we recognize enrich everyone's experiences. And the British system attracts first-class minds, both from within the country and internationally. The system offers them carefully planned teaching and experiences with experts and researchers in the field to develop students' potential. Many go on to be world leaders in clinical practice, research, teaching, and authoring textbooks and papers. And of course many famous medical schools across the globe have been set up by British medical graduates. Within the UK there is a lot of confidence in the training of our doctors. And probably it's the strict regulation and accreditation by the General Medical Council that contributes to that confidence. Medical schools also benefit from the widespread General Medical Council guidance covering all aspects of medical education. And in addition, there are now strong networks of medical teachers whose programs benefit from their academic research into medical education and teaching. And for students, one of the advantages of the British medical degree system is they can start at 18. They don't have to have a first degree, though UK medical schools also admit graduates into their courses every year. The UK medical education system and process also relies heavily on the much admired national health system, the NHS and students spend at least two to three years learning within its facilities. Now, it's not just about the facilities, it's not just about the buildings, about the hospitals, the general practices, the community healthcare centers. We in Britain are very fortunate that our patients put great importance on the training of medical students and doctors and willingly contribute their time so that students can learn from them and with them and thus see a huge variety of patients and their problems.